At this time, we ask that you kindly stand for the presentation of colors, Pledge of Allegiance, and the playing of the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and Falcons. My name is Samantha Coveney. I've had the privilege of serving the class of 2015 as first vice president. Tonight it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to our 2015 graduation, Flanagan High School's 18th commencement ceremony. I'm pleased to introduce some of Broward's most distinguished leaders. Please stand as I call your name. Joining us here this evening is Ms. Patricia Good, our school board representative for District 2 and the chair of the Broward County School Board. Ms. Leslie Brown, Chief Portfolio Services Officer. And Mr. Michael Ramirez, Director, Office of School Performance and Accountability. We would also like to welcome Mrs. Suzanne Sassy, Principal of Pines Lakes Elementary. Mrs. Sandra Shipman, Principal of Pembroke Lakes Elementary School. And Mr. Carlton Campbell, Principal of Pines Mill School. Additionally, members of the Charles W. Flanagan High School family include our Principal, Ms. Michelle Keffer. And our assistant principals, Mrs. Mary Diarmas, Mr. Brad Fatu, Mr. Freddie Jones, Ms. Vivian Suarez, Mr. J. Melmed, and our guidance director, Mrs. Christina Pelliser. 
In addition, we would also like to recognize our senior class sponsors, Mrs. Rachel Alloy and Mrs. Zenia Santiago. Our valedictorian, Stephen Yang. Our salutatorian, Christian Lawson. Our senior class president, Legacy Bradshaw. Senior class first vice president, myself, Samantha Coveney. Senior class second vice president, Angelica Perez. Senior class corresponding secretary, Kinley Benjamin. Senior class recording secretary, Amanda Alloy. Senior class treasurer, Jordan Rislow. And our senior class historian, Victoria Nilo. Thank you, you may be seated. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce our principal, Mrs. Michelle Kefford. Thank you. Class of 2015, it's been an incredible year. Your class has achieved and accomplished so many great things. Our debate program continues to grow and meet success. This year, Falcon Debate was ranked in the top 3% of all debate programs in the nation. Our marching band, wind orchestra, and jazz band all received straight superior ratings at the Florida Bandmasters Association assessment. Our color guard won its 14th consecutive state championship and placed second in the world. Our ROTC placed third overall in both the state drill competition and the national academic competition. Every one of our fall and winter sports advanced to regional competition. Our football team was a semifinalist for the state title. Girls basketball, competitive cheer, girls track, and boys baseball all won district championships. And our girls volleyball team, boys and girls soccer teams, boys basketball and girls softball teams were all runners up for the district championship title. This year we even had a state champion on our girls track team. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. For the fourth straight year, our student government was named a National Council of Excellence. This is a title held, it's my SGA folks over here. This is a title held by only two other schools in the state of Florida. Individually, <laughs> individually, you have been recognized in writing contests, musical and drama performances, art competitions, athletic competitions, and a variety of academic contests. One of our very own seniors was named Senior Leader of the Year for Broward County. Another one of our seniors was honored as a top STEM student in the state, and a member of this class was awarded the prestigious National Merit Scholarship. We even have among us two honorable mentions for the coveted Silver Knight Scholarship. This year, our school was visited by White House representatives from the Educational Excellence Committee to highlight several of our programs. Our school also received recognition from the U.S. News and World Report as one of America's best high schools for 2015, as well as by the Washington Post as one of America's most challenging schools. We have so much to be proud of. In the next few weeks, you will embark on the next steps in your journey of life. We have among us future members of the armed forces, future doctors, lawyers, firefighters, teachers, police officers, and business professionals. We have young men and women who will join the freshman classes at schools such as Princeton, Duke, 
University of Alabama, West Point, University of Texas, Penn State, Tennessee State, Columbia University, University of Nebraska, University of Louisville, UCLA, University of Miami, University of Florida, Florida State University, all right, USF, University of Central Florida, all right, shout out, Florida Atlantic University, and Florida International University. Also, students will start right here at Nova Southeastern in the fall, so congratulations. This group alone has, closed, has earned close to $3 million in scholarships and has donated over 110,000 hours of service to their community. What an incredible group of young men and women you are. I was sitting with a colleague a few weeks ago and she shared with me a story that I wanted to share with you today. It's a story about a pencil maker. Each time he created a pencil, the pencil maker took it aside just before putting it into the box. There are five things you need to know, he told each pencil, before I send you out into the world. Always remember them and never forget, and you will be the best pencil that you can be. First, you will be able to do many great things, but only if you allow yourself to be held in someone's hand. The second thing you need to understand is that you will experience a painful sharpening from time to time, but you will need that to become a better pencil. Next, realize that you will be able to correct any mistake that you may make. The fourth thing you must know is the most important part of you will always be what's on the inside. And lastly, on every surface on which you are used, you must leave your mark. No matter what the condition, you must continue to make your presence known. The five lessons described by the pencil maker are important for your own success. Always remember them, and you will never forget, you will be become the best person you can be. Like the pencil, you'll be able to do many great things, but only if you allow others to hold your hand and access the many gifts that you possess. There are times that you will need a helping hand to support and facilitate your growth, and there are times when your hands will provide strength and support for others who will need you along their journey in life. In life, you will also experience a painful sharpening from time to time as the result of the many challenges you will encounter. But it is those experiences that will make you a stronger person. Always remember that no one is perfect and you will make mistakes in life. It is what you do as a result of your mistakes that makes the difference. Make it a point to consistently learn and grow from your errors and you will achieve success. Like the pencil, the most important part of you will always be what's on the inside. Your character makes you who you are. Never compromise it for anyone or anything. Lastly, on every surface you walk through, you must leave your mark. Allow this parable on the pencil to encourage you to know that you are a special person and only you can fulfill the purpose to which you were born to accomplish. Below your chair, I have left each of you a pencil. As you hold it in your hand, you can grab them. They're personalized for you. <laughs> As you hold your pencil in your hand, remember all of the hands that helped to bring you here to this very moment. As you sharpen your pencil for the first time, Remember all of the challenges that you have overcome to be here today. Keep your eraser close at hand and always remember that no one mistake, no matter how big or how small, will define who you are. Remember, remember that what makes a pencil work is what's on the inside. It cannot function without a solid core. Each time you use your pencil, you're, use, you're leaving your mark. Use it with intent, with purpose, and with confidence. Class of 2015, I'm gonna get choked up, sorry. <laughs> you guys are my seniors. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. 
Class of 2015, we entered Flanagan's together. You as freshmen and I as the freshman principal. We both, <laughs> we both were the new kids on the block. Together we have made our mark on Flanagan, achieving what had never been accomplished before. We earned Flanagan's first ever grade of A, our first year. And we continue to be awarded an A each year since. The past, absolutely, clap, that's amazing. The past four years have been incredible because of all of you. I have personally been touched by so many of you, and it has truly been my pleasure to watch you grow, achieve, and succeed. I stand with you today as a member of the senior class of 2015, for we have completed these four years together. Thank you for enriching my life by sharing a piece of your life with me. As you have already left your mark on Flanagan, Go now and leave your mark on the world. Congratulations. For the introduction of our salutatorian, I would like to introduce Mrs. Lynn Rabel, mathematics teacher.